I'm showing you how to use shaders for Minecraft 1.21. In this case, Iris Shaders. To get Iris Shaders, you want to head over to their official website, irishshaders.dev. This is also going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on the Iris Shaders website, you can click on this blue Download Now button, and here, you'll be brought to this area. You want to click on the download universal jar button and the download will automatically start. Now, as you can see in my downloads, I have the Iris installer. Iris shaders is great because it's compatible with Optifine Sodium and allows you to customize it greatly. Anyways, the Iris installer, you want to just double click on that and it should now to use the Iris installer, you do need the Java platform made by Oracle installed. If you don't have it or you're not sure if you have it, then I will link that down in the description below. You will have it installed already if you've ever used anything like Forge, Fabric, or other Minecraft modding tools before. Anyways, to open this up, you can simply double click on it. If that doesn't work, however, you can right click on it, go to open with, and then select the Java platform that I just told you you needed. Anyways, as you can see, it is going to open up the Iris installer. Here you can choose your game version, which in this case is 1.21. You can choose to install it together with Fabric, but I'm just going to choose Iris only for right now. And then I can click on this install button. As you can see, the install happens very quickly, and that it has been finished installing. I can close this, as well as actually delete the installer if I do wish to do so, because I don't need it anymore. Anyways, now we can simply open up the Minecraft launcher. Here in the Minecraft launcher, you want to make sure that you have the Iris shaders selected. This will automatically come actually with sodium as well. We can play and of course understand the risks of playing modded Minecraft. As you can see, Minecraft has started up and I'm just going to go into a Minecraft world and show you what it looks like. As you can see, this is it right here. Um, I have this here because I actually made a tutorial on how to make a texture pack inside of Minecraft. And if that seems interesting to you, then I'll link it down in the description. Anyways, as you could probably already tell, you're met with the default Bliss shaders once you load up Minecraft right here. These are, in my opinion, some of the best looking shaders. And they work incredibly well as you can see just take a look at this water and at the reflection on this ice here anyways there is actually more to this than just these shaders going into the pause menu options and then video settings here you will find a completely custom menu you'll recognize this from sodium if you've ever used it before as you can see we have all of the general video settings and we also actually have a shader packs area. Here you can download custom shader packs and put them in the shader packs folder. This works very similar to how you put resource packs in a resource pack folder. You can download custom ones from, for example, the internet, or you can even make your own, but I'm not that advanced. You can install multiple ones, switch as you play, you can also disable shaders with that button right up there, and you can also choose go into the shader pack settings. Here you can tune, in this case, the bliss shaders. As you can see, there is a bunch of different settings right here. Also, definitely worth mentioning is that Iris shaders are compatible with the Distant Horizons mod. I actually made a video on this, and the combination of those two mods together is probably one of the best ones out there. Anyways, that is how to use Iris shaders. Um, there is a lot of customization, and if you ever get confused, then of course, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. For right now, Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.